Hi everyone, Jeff here again for VIP Vision. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install micro SD flash memory cards into VIP Vision IP network video cameras. Now, installing a, an SD card, micro SD card, into a network video camera gives us internal storage in the camera so that the camera itself can record internally rather than relying on an external recorder such as a network video recorder, a NAS, or a PC. Now, there's a couple of reasons why we might want to do that. Either A, we want to record on the camera exclusively, so we just want to use this camera in a standalone fashion so it records on itself. We don't need any external hardware, we just need to supply power. Alternatively, we can actually use the micro SD card recording on this camera in addition to recording to a network video recorder as a backup source, and this is the most common reason for using these cards. That way, if for some reason the uh, network video recorder fails, goes missing, is stolen, you still have a backup copy on the camera itself. Okay, so with regard to micro SD cards, there's a few different things that you need to do before you select a micro SD card. So there's a few different parameters. The first one obviously is size, okay? So micro SD cards are currently available at time of recording in up to 400 gig, 400 gigabyte versions, okay? That however, they're still quite expensive in that range and your selection is rather limited. So you're more likely to run into smaller uh, micro SD cards. So, you know, somewhere 32, 64, gigabytes. Um, so size obviously determines your recording time, okay? To give you an indication of recording time, a 32 gigabyte SD card recording at recording on the camera continuously at 4 megabit per second, which is sort of on the lower end for a 4 megapixel camera, um, will give you approximately 40 hours, okay, of continuous recording at that resolution, at that bit rate, I should say. So from that, you can, you can consider that obviously if I double the size of my SD card, I would go to 80 hours of continuous recording time. If obviously if I increase the bit rate, my recording time is going to go down consequently. Now, other factors to consider with your micro SD cards is speed. Okay, the next one is speed. So we recommend a minimum of a class 10 or UHS-1 SD card for recording at up to eight megabit per second um, on these cameras. Anything higher than that, then we recommend um, at least going to a, a V30 rated SD card. So class 10, UHS-1, V10 is good for anything up to about sort of eight megabit a second. Anything higher than that, select, suggest that you go to a V30 card speed wise. So the third important thing that you need to consider when you're talking about SD cards is write endurance. Now, what do I mean by write endurance? Well, SD cards are based off NAND flash memory technology. And NAND flash memory technology has a number of benefits in the sense that it's, it's very small. You can fit a lot of data on a very small size. However, it's limited in the number of cycles or the number of times that you can write to it before a particular cell or a section within that flash memory starts to fail. Now that can either lead to a completely failed SD card or it might just re reduce the capacity, the overall capacity of the SD card, but it's something that you have to keep in mind. The number of times that I can write to this flash memory before we start running into issues. Now that's obviously something that we need to consider with video because we're gonna be writing over this card over and over again. Um, it's a very good idea to pick a high write endurance card, okay? There's a number of different versions from a number of different people out there. So SanDisk have a version, Transcend have a version, Samsung have a version at time of writing. Very good idea to pick a high write endurance card. One thing to consider though with regard to write endurance is all other things being equal, you should pick the highest capacity card that you can because that will mean that you're writing over the entire card less times for a given time period. Now, um, what do I mean by that? Well. Consider the scenario from earlier where we had a 32 gigabyte micro SD card and we were recording at four megabit a second and that got us to 40 hours worth of continuous recorded footage. Um, if you were to double the size of that SD card, go to a 64 gigabyte card instead of a 32, that would mean that you were only writing over the entire card once every 80 hours. So that would be half the cycle time, which will give you, uh, you know, much double the life of the SD card. So consider that. Also consider whether, you're, whether you need to record um, continuously or whether you're quite happy to record on motion. If you're recording on motion, then you'll get a much longer life out of the SD card. Okay, so now I'm going to be showing you how to physically insert these micro SD cards inside into the VIP Vision Network video cameras. Now, it's worth noting this will not be an exhaustive summary of how to install micro SD cards in all of the VIP Vision range. However, it should give you an indication as to where you should be looking for SD card slots within cameras, within different styles of cameras, different, so for dome cameras, or bullet cameras I'll show you in a moment, different styles of dome cameras, even a PTZ camera. But if you're looking for specifics, 
please check the documentation that came with the VIP Vision product. Check the VIP Vision website or consult the vendor where you purchased the VIP Vision product. Okay, so I'm going to switch across to another camera now just to give you a closer look. So we're starting with a VIP Vision dome cameras, a typical dome cameras, ones that most people consider as dome cameras. So with the polycarbonate dome over the top here. Now, typically on this style of camera, it's going to be hidden underneath the dome. So the first thing we're going to have to do is remove the screws. So I've already loosened these off, but basically you'd be unscrewing the three screws around the perimeter of the dome, then lifting the dome off the camera. Now, inside, one thing actually, if you see any bags like this inside any of the VIP Vision products, make sure that you do not remove them. They are not packaging. They are actually there as silicon desiccant bags to absorb any excess moisture within a sealed product. Okay, so the reason for that is if you have any moisture inside, when it gets cold outside, you're going to notice that you'll end up with dome or condensation on the inside of the lens if you remove this. Okay, so anytime you see any bag, any silicon desiccant bag like this, please ensure that you leave it in place. Okay, so I'm just going to lift that out of the way there. And from there, you can actually see where our SD card slot is. So it's this little metal one under here. Now, this, is a, this particular unit um, needs to be folded back, lifted up, and had the SD card inserted. It's a metal clasp type design. So I'm going to fold it back. Okay, so I've opened up the SD card slot here. Now, it's going to be a little bit difficult from my angle. So I'm just going to insert the card. But basically, I'm going to place it on top of the SD card holder, like so. It should, you should ensure that it fits correctly, fits snugly, and inside the little nub there, you'll see that there's a little spot there where you need to correctly orient the card, okay? Once that's done, I'm gonna flip that metal clasp back down, push it down, and then pull it forward to slide over the top. And you can see there that the card is secure. To open it back up again, I'm just gonna push that metal holder backwards, lift it up, and then I can remove the SD card like so. Okay. So now we're going to move across to the Ultimate Series dome camera. Now this is a similar, very similar camera, very similar dome camera from, um, as I discussed before, it's your typical dome camera. You've got the polycarbonate housing on top here. Now, again, we'll need to remove the three screws, which you can only just see in that shot. But so one, two, and three around the side here. We need to remove or at least loosen those off so that we can then open the dome, like so. Now, you'll note that on the Ultimate Series domes, it's actually a captive housing, so this will stay connected. But to locate the SD card slot on the Ultimate Series dome cameras like these, we need to work our way around the perimeter until we find little indication here. Okay, so you can see this little indication here showing that there's an SD card slot below. Okay, and if we look under there, there you go, there's the slot. Okay, so in this case, we need to insert the card with contacts down. Okay, so contacts pointing downward, and we just need to slide that card into the holder and push until you hear the click. And that's it, it's actually in place. Now, to remove that card can sometimes be a little bit tricky on this particular product, but Push again, you'll see, notice that it pops out. Make sure, as I mentioned before, when you've got it in, that it is actually in and it's, it's not, not just sitting in there. You must feel positive engagement, you must feel a click and it must be that no overlap down here. If you're failing to close the dome with the SD card installed, then note that it's probably not pushed in correctly. So I'm gonna eject it, okay? And as I mentioned, it can be a little bit difficult to get this one out, but if you grab it on the edges of your fingernails, you can remove the SD card like so. So they're the traditional style dome cameras, okay? From there, I'm actually gonna move across to um, what some people call Cyclops domes or Pignose style domes. So basically anything that has, has a front, a gimbal mounted dome, okay? So no polycarbonate over the top of the dome. Um, I'm gonna show you on a couple of examples, our C series dome and our G series dome, both in the professional series, well one in the professional series, one in the ultimate series. So again, I'm just gonna jump across. Okay, so the first one I'm gonna show you is actually a, a C series, professional series dome, okay? So in this case, 
like I mentioned before, there's no polycarbonate housing on here like you would typically um, expect out of a dome camera. So in this case, um, there's no obvious slots on this camera. There's no obvious place for a, an SD card to be hiding and there's no polycarbonate dome to take off. So you can likely assume that the SD card slot is actually going to be internal in this camera. It's worth noting too, if, if you can't see an obvious slot, you should probably check the VIP Vision website to ensure that your camera, in fact, supports an SD card. So the first thing we would need to do would be loosen off this grub screw down here, lift off the external part of the gimbal, and lift the camera out. Okay. So from here, there's actually three screws on the back, three Phillips head screws. These need to be completely removed. Okay. Once they are completely removed, the camera itself will open up like so. Now, the SD card itself is still not actually visible from here, still not actually accessible. So the next thing you need to do is there are actually two additional screws here, one on this side and then one on this side over here. You need to remove both of those screws and then from there you can actually lift the entire camera module out and you'll see that here is our SD card slot. Much the same as on the original, the first dome. Okay, I can place the card in like I did before. Make sure that it sits in the right spot there. Then push, fold the piece over the top, the metal piece over the top, and slide it back. And the SD card is now locked in. To release the SD card, do that in reverse. Okay, so just to show you one more time on there. So place the SD card in the location, make sure that you are accurate to this little, this little nub here to make sure that it's the right way around. Then fold over the top. If it doesn't fit perfectly, then it means that the SD card is probably mispositioned. But push it over the top and then fold it back. And as mentioned before, to undo it, pull back and take the card out. Now the other dome that's in this series that I want to show you is our, is the G-series dome. Now this one is a very similar, again, it's a gimbal mount dome, okay, as mentioned before. So here, again, we must remove the grub screw down the bottom here to start with. Once that's removed, then we can lift the outer cover off. We can take the camera out of its surround, the remainder of the surrounds, and again, if you take a look on the back here, we have three screws that must be removed. Once those three screws are removed, again, we can lift it apart. And this one's a little more simple. Again, you can see, actually, as take note, there's silicon desiccant here and silicon desiccant in the front here. Make sure that you do not remove these items. Leave them there in place. And you can see just in front of me there that there's actually another little SD card slot down here. Now this is a slide in slot so I can just make sure that the contacts are facing the PCB below. Okay so gold face the green PCB and insert the card just by pushing. Make sure that you get positive engagement in that push and to release it I can just push in again and pull the card out. One more time just insert the card Make sure you get a click and push again to release the card, like so. So the next style of camera that we're going to take a look at is uh, the bullet style of camera, okay? So there's a few different ways that you can get into, a few different ways that the bullets actually um, uh, designed in order to mount a micro SD card, but most of them have flaps, okay? So if you're looking at a bullet style camera, pretty much you're always going to be looking for the flap on the base of the camera and that's where you're going to install the micro SD card. So I'll jump across now. So I'm going to start with our Ultimate Series bullet. Now these are probably the easiest to actually put an SD card in, so the only thing you have to do is loosen off this screw at the base here, flip this open, and you can see the slot in the base down the bottom there. To insert the card, I simply line it up with the pictogram and slide it in. And the card's inserted. To release it, push back in again and slide the card out. 
like so. Again, this is very similar on the rest of the many of the other bullet series cameras. Okay, so this is actually a six megapixel bullet camera here. Okay, this one's a little bit different on the base if you take a look. So we've actually got two screws on the base here which show a flap. Okay, this flap, after you release the two screws or loosen the two screws, will actually lift off. There's a little rubber piece here so that you don't lose the flap. But again, if you can just see there, that's the micro SD card slot again. And again, we just need to look for positive engagement. Okay, so slide it in, listen for the click. And if it clicks, it's in. Okay, to release it, simply push and release. Like so. Just to show you on a couple of other cameras, all the bullet cameras are very similar, very similar with regards to how they do it. So again, here on this, this camera here, it's a very similar on the D series bullet, very similar series. So lift off the flap and again, we face the micro SD card towards the bottom of the PCB, inject, listen for the click and then to release it, we just click again and that'll eject the SD card. One final camera in the bullet range, just to show you, this is actually a, a two megapixel bullet. So loosen off these two screws that are down here, okay, and then lift out the cover. Okay, if they're not quite loose, you might just need to release them. Oh, there we go, it's loose. And again, this is a slide in mechanism again. So click in. and then click out. Like so. Now the final camera that I just want to show you is uh, just a, a, a PTZ camera, okay? So in the PTZ cameras, uh, typically again, they're sort of hidden behind flaps. SD card slots are hidden behind flaps. In any of the dome style PTZ cameras though, they will always be underneath the polycarbonate dome, okay? So either on a PCB inside the polycarbonate dome in the flat section or possibly in the camera module of the PTZ, okay? In this case though, I'm just going to show you on a W series PTZ, which is actually a positioning system. Um, so I'll cut across to that now. So this particular camera is, again, the W series PTZ camera. You can see it if I spin this around here. Okay. So on this particular unit, to get to the SD card, you actually need to loosen these three screws or four screws off at the back here, okay, that hold on this rear housing. So one, two, and then three and four. Okay, once they are loose, you don't need to take them out completely, but once they are loose, you will actually be able to release that entire cover, okay, revealing the back PCB. And again, as with most of the other cameras that we've, we've shown, we actually have the SD card slot in here. Okay, so again, make sure that the contacts face the PCB. And simply slide in to insert the card and push again to eject it. And ensure that you are getting a positive click, as I mentioned earlier. Okay, so hopefully that's given you an indication of how to uh, use SD cards on these cameras, how to insert them physically, and giving you some information just regarding what SD cards to choose. Um, we will, there'll be a future video, the next video in the series will actually show you how to record to the SD card, okay? So what to set up once you physically inserted the SD card. So please tune in for that. Uh, if you've liked this video, please feel free to subscribe down below, click the like button. If you've got any questions, comments about this video, or anything else that you'd like to see, please leave them below. Thanks for watching.